if you create a viewport in Vectorworks and it's not the right aspect ratio, the viewport's actually just following the orientation of your screen or the size of your drawing area. Um, this viewport is a little bit more uh, rectilinear because this was the view on the computer when this viewport was created. Well, we can assign a cropping object to any viewport after that viewport has been created. We can simply edit the viewport crop. I'm contextually clicking or right clicking on that viewport and saying edit crop. Now we're not going to find any objects in this particular view. We're in the, the viewport crop edit feature here. You know that because of the orange bar around and the big button that says exit viewport crop. There are no cropping objects. Now if, it, if this viewport was created originally with a cropping object, you would find a cropping object. So I can create a cropping object out of any planar object that includes not just rectangles, but um, circles, ellipses, um, really any kind of polygon you could draw on the screen. I'm going to use a rounded rectangle and I'm just going to draw a rounded rectangle around the view that I want. And you can draw this any shape that you'd like. Um, you can put a specific aspect ratio into it if you like. If you prefer 16 by 9 or something even ultra widescreen, um, you can do that as well. But basically any planar object you place here will become the crop of that viewport. You can only have one object. Keep that in mind as well. So if I exit viewport crop, we see now our crop. This is kind of a neat camera effect, but having that rounded rectangle in there, that looks pretty neat. So we could re-render that to get rid of the candy canes if we'd like. Update that viewport. And there's our updated cropping object. Thanks for tuning into this quick Vectorworks Spotlight tip from Tangibly. In case we've yet to meet, my name's Jacob. Welcome to Tangibly. If you find this content valuable, please consider liking and subscribing or following us down below. If you know anybody that could actually benefit from this content, please share it with them. It might actually save them a great deal of time. If you're looking for more training and support on Vectorworks Spotlight, you'll find this and many other workflow improvements at tangibly.com. That's T-A-N-G-A-B-L-Y.com.